for my daughter. And oh my god, she was so adorable. And she was wearing this bikini, and I know she's a little young for a bikini. But oh my god, she was so cute. You know what, Roy? You should get a wife. And if you got a wife, you must have wives, and then we can both have kids, and then we can exchange albums. And that'd be awesome. <laughs> And I just started the coffee. Yeah. And in response to that, Ed would say, Winry, we are never having children. <laughs> Come on, you need to settle down someday. I never wanted a wife. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Do we still have the sound guy? Because now we got a buzzing. Now we've got buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Envy's mad about the buzzing. The reverb is killing me. <laughs> What's your question? Um, this is for Wendy. Um, yeah. What did you first think of Envy as you saw him as a character? I think he is incredibly hot. <laughs> Has anyone brought your DeLorean back to you? Oh! Great Scott! Party! You gotta come back with me! Yeah. I wanna know what kind of moose you use. It's gel. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't make it. He doesn't use moose, he used oh. elk. Oh. Um, elk stick'em. What was, what was his question? Have we ever signed a butt? <laughs> yeah, but no, but I've signed a boob. <laughs> I've signed a few boobs. I've signed one butt, I think. That counts. I refuse to sign boobs. Just because... Because <laughs> he only signs penises. Just because... <laughs> 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 I forgot. She came. Save your son. <laughs> Why did you come in here? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. He only signs uh, autograph books. <laughs> With great big pencils. <laughs> we move on. Well, the question was kind of risque to begin with. Well, this, I mean, this is an after hours panel question. Yeah. Mustang. In the older years. Grizzly Roy Mustang. Yeah. 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 Woo. Okay, my question is a card. We got it. <laughs> okay, my question is, what is your f most favorite outtake during the recording sessions? Oh. oh God. You guys, you know we do like an outtake every take. <laughs> it's really hard to remember because to keep your energy up, you're always joking around and stuff like that. So. It's very hard to remember. I remember um, Mike McFarland, there was a scene where I'm eating pie, and he, he wanted it to be very realistic, so he bought some donuts, right? Yeah. He said, well, just put, you know, like, bite a donut in your mouth while you're, you're doing the recording. So between, between takes, uh, I was eating those donuts like crazy. And after I finished the scene, he goes, okay, now give me those donuts, I'm hungry. And I went, there's donuts. The donuts are gone. Oh. Do you really have a donut story? That was it. That was my donut story. I didn't even know you had a donut story. Do you have a donut story? Donut. Yeah, you do! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
to tell. Look what you did. Look what you did. Look what you did. Now, I, I am. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, there's never going to be more donuts after that. It was like, no more. Because they are delicious. That's really all they're eating. Yeah, yeah. Until you are traumatized by them. They're no longer delicious. Does this have to do with signing some weird body parts? <laughs> okay. I signed a guy's donut one time. Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was his name? Mark? Will, Will, I'm sorry, Will. Let me Will. apologize in advance. Will, Will you oh. need to go in timeout. <laughs> Go to your naughty chair, we'll pick you up on the flip side. <laughs> let's face it, Will is the coolest guy in here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will, you should be cosplaying as Ed, dude. You're just like perfect size and everything. <laughs> your sister did? Oh, nice. Um, well, oh, yeah, well, as far as outtakes are concerned, did you have a good outtake? Wendy? <laughs> Like Ben mm -hmm. said, every one of them is an outtake. It's kind of just trying to. Um, what they do sometimes, with, like, Vic would come from California and record before me, and they would put little things, or what do they call them when you record that crazy oh, stuff yeah. before I would roll in? Yeah. Like some the, little uh, bomb. Yeah, yeah, some bomb. Yeah. What, what, a bomb. A bomb. Yeah, bomb. Yeah, drop so a bomb like The here. line would be incorrect, is what I'm talking about. And so then Vic would say something crazy, or I, I would mess up the line, or. or uh, I told you, right. Rather, that way. Right, I told you guys yesterday, how many of you were in the panel yesterday? <laughs> where, where I talked about um, the one that, that Maxie White had. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Will, yeah. thank you for being here right now because uh, <laughs> it will keep me from telling this story. Um, I, always wanted, I always wanted to leave a line, like when we were on the train, I always wanted to leave a line for Caitlin that said something like, Hey, Winry, what do you say we go to the back of the train, turn out the lights, and see what happens? <laughs> Let me ask the panel something. How many times are we asked that question about outtakes? Like every wow. panel? Every, yeah. Now you would think that one of us up here would write down the next time an outtake happens because yeah. they happen every day, but we don't. We are so what happens to me, every time something funny happens in the booth, I think to myself, make a mental note of this because the, the fans would really get a kick out of knowing this. And then I forget about it. Yeah. Because we had so many of them happen yeah. that after a while it just kind of all blends together and you don't remember any of them. Or maybe that's my age. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, not. it's all of our ages up here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sir. Oh, not yours, Wendy. Of course. Yes. Uh, this is a question for Sonny. When you first started doing Come Out Often, mm -hmm. did you know in advance what was going to happen? Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I did not. Uh, I did. I did two weeks. <laughs> two weeks before he died, uh, Mike told me, oh, guess what, your character dies in a couple of weeks. I went, are you kidding? Because <laughs> I love this character, right? But you know what, the cool thing is, is that Mike McFarland um, knew that that episode was such a pivotal episode to the series, that he actually gave me the original Japanese and the script a week ahead of time so I'd be prepared for it. And uh, so it, it's one of my favorite scenes. Did, did I cry? Yeah, I was out of work for two months. <laughs> I definitely cried, yeah. But yeah, I, I had no idea though. I had no idea it was coming either. And, and then I read the manga that. after that, because I'm like, I want to know what's going on. <laughs> well, I, I uh, didn't know until it happened, but the frustrating thing for me was that, as you guys know, Ed doesn't find out about it for like, 40 episodes. Yeah. So, it's you know, the whole the time, first one. you know, right? <laughs> so the whole time, every the time I would one. come in to record, I would be like, do we find out today? <laughs> and, and Mike's like, oh. So, you know, I was, I, I knew that when the time came for us to record the scene where Ed and Al find out that Hughes is, is gone, um, we would really, you know, that would be a very big moment emotionally. And so I knew that Hughes had died, but I wasn't, you know, but I had to wait a long period of time before I was able to play that, that moment. So there was a bit of frustration. Yeah, keep it inside. Yes. <laughs> Very deep. Yes. Impy has a question. Of course. <laughs> I right, sit down. Next question. 